Hello everyone, GTA 6 is here. Let's see. Hey, there we are. Um, where am I at? Hey, there we are. Y'all, Grand Theft Auto 6 is here. The trailer leaked a day early. Dang leakers. It took so long for this to come out that I literally had to get GTA 5 on the PS2, man. I mean, it's it's a real thing. Mod because it's a mod. Stay tuned for the channel. We'll, we'll show y'all that later on. But right here, we've got the official GTA 6 artwork. Welcome, everybody. I saw the trailer, um, not now, but when it leaked on Twitter like an hour ago. But we're going to watch this together. Uh, this is awesome. I can't believe it's finally here after so long. I just got to see how many of y'all are joining real quick. Uh, this is amazing. Welcome every single one of y'all. We're going to be checking this out together. We're going to be breaking the trailer down today, seeing if we can find any secrets in there. I doubt there's going to be any Easter eggs, but we're just going to get a look at Vice City for the first time. Um, I apologize for any errors on the stream. This was thrown together last minute because I didn't expect the trailer to drop today. So I hope y'all are all doing great, man. If you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking at y'all talking to me in the chat. Right here is the official GTA 6 artwork. It looks amazing. And matter of fact, let me just show it to y'all real quick. I downloaded this because it's possible to do that. This is the official GTA 6 artwork right here. This is what it looks like. Jason and Lucia, ocean view in the background, and that concept art. You can see the birds right there. Hey, our first secret. That's what Rockstar showed us the other day. So this is amazing. Let's check out this trailer together. I apologize for any audio discrepancies. I might mute it so that I don't get copyright striked, but I will tell you the GTA 6 theme song is Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. So let's check it out. Look at that. The official GTA 6 logo. Oh, I got to pause that. Look at that. Look at that. You know what's amazing, y'all? Check this out. Check this out. I'm a rock star insider. If I don't break everything. Oh, let's get my Vice City sign out. I'm overreacting so much. We're going to drink so much, so much piss water today. Y'all, I'm so hyped for this. We're about to get turned on the piss water. Okay, check this out. I am a GTA 6 Rockstar Insider. I've been there since the beginning. Look at that logo. Look at mine. This was inspired by Vice City FM. I'm like a little kid on Christmas right now, y'all. This is amazing. Bear with me. Let me put my mess back up. I'm sure I don't break my play button. And before we get any further into the stream, I'm just going to manifest right now with GTA 6. We are going to get a golden play button and we're going to add it to the collection here with the silver. Um, thank you all for being with me for so many years uh, as we are finally here with Grand Theft Auto 6. So I'm going to S the, met, the F up. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. And let's break this trailer down. We're just going to keep this right here next to us. Okay. So we're going to go back a little bit, y'all. We're going to play it back and just pause it as we go. Okay, first scene right there. Iconic Vice City skyline, that airplane in the sky. That's just like my official theme song right there, y'all. So, um, or my intro. Uh, there's going to be so much, and y'all can help me out in the chat as well. If you see things that I don't, let me know. So, another thing is, check this out. I'm going to be climbing. Well, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. There's six birds for GTA 6. But look at this. I am going to be climbing this tower. Y'all, we are most likely going to be able to climb to the top of this tower and jump off. Think of like GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony, where you could get to the top of the Empire State Building and then all the freedom of GTA 5. Imagine climbing that giant tower. That's crazy. We've got boats. This makes me think of my intro. This is literally my YouTube intro. That's awesome. We got the plane. Beautiful skyline. Look at that. Um, that is a Patriot beer. So we see some returning companies there. Look at all of the traffic density. So much going on there. Um, this in the background looks to be a prison. Look, you've got the watchtowers right there. There's one, there's two, three, and there's one in the background. And the next scene is Lucia in prison, I believe. So let's go ahead and move forward here. Yep, so there's the prison. And it looks like, again, oh, we're going to go back too far that this is the prison right here and you can see the gates, so. Oh, and one thing that I missed, I apologize y'all, is look, the city skyline in the background. Didn't even notice that. I was so busy focused on the foreground. Welcome everybody, welcome. Lucia. So looks, looks like we've got Lucia. This is our first official look at Lucia. She is locked up. And y'all, there was a GTA 6 leak in October that detailed that Lucia was going to be in prison. She starts out in prison. This leak was real. Do you know why you're here? Now, this lady has a very familiar voice. I'm not sure exactly who she is. But in the background, we could see some pictures here of what looks to most likely be her family. Looks like an image at a club of some sort. And I'm sure this lady's going to play a role in the storyline. Maybe she's going to be cool and help us break out. You can't tell what's on the name tag. No official name there. Um, looks like there's a candy bar on the desk, but nothing too special here that I'm noticing yet. Uh, as far as details go, let me make sure. We need to like up, up the quality here. Um, I'm trying to see if you see anything in the glasses. No. Beautiful lady, though. Very beautiful. Yeah. Bad luck, I Okay, looks like we have another image down here in the corner. Uh, just a, a good look at Lucia, though. Check her out. The very first ever, actually, she's not the first female protagonist in GTA, but she is the first one in the HD universe, or maybe the 4K universe now, uh, since GTA 1, I believe. Maybe it was GTA 2. I think it was, it was GTA 1, because GTA 2's protagonist is Claude. Okay, check this out, y'all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Look at right here. We've got dolphins. This looks m like maybe. I doubt that's a shark, but it could be. Maybe another dolphin. No, that's too big. Those are dolphins right here. A whale, maybe. There's another one right here. We've got birds flying over. And look how packed these beaches are as we go to our first look at Vice City. Are y'all ready for this? Whoa. Okay, hold up. So I got to say, in regards to the water, the animal aquatic life, I am so excited to dive into the waters of GTA 6 and explore the Easter eggs. If y'all think GTA 5 had a lot, imagine GTA 6. I've been ready since day one. Uh, Mr. Jer G says, yep, the photorealism looks insane. This looks like somebody recorded this with an actual camera. Check out this foliage. All of this. Wow. If this was GTA 5, there'd be like two trees on the beach. So we see, I'm just going to go back just one moment again to this water. That's a nice boat there. That is really cool. And maybe I can't drag this. Maybe I should have downloaded this first, but either way, we'll make it work. Again, we can see dolphins and what looks to be sharks. Look at that beach. Okay, let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit more. Downtown Vice City here. We saw a look at the city skyline from the developer Aaron Garbutt's son or his friend that leaked the footage two days ago. And we saw this area of Vice City on the right side of the screen. I don't know if y'all can see my cursor too well, but that's where we saw that. And just taking a look at the skyline here. It is noted that about 70% of the interiors are allegedly accessible. So I'm trying to look down here. Again, we're not going to be able to see everything. But uh, also I want to note that this purple, it was noted that GTA 6's theme is going to be purple. It's going to be, the purple is going to be kind of prevalent. 
So if this area wasn't from the GTA 6 leak we got the other day, it was. It seems like it was this area over here. But regardless, the city is huge. We've got water here in the background. Uh, this is most likely, maybe this is Washington Beach. You'll have to forgive me because I'm not too familiar with Vice City, or excuse me, Miami and the beaches in real life. But again, look at this. Let's move forward. A bit. So we've got a rooftop bar area. Oh, and what did the plane say? Nine. Nine. When can when you can nine? I I whine. Maybe that's the name of a club in game. Why? I can't read exactly what that says, y'all. Y'all might have to help me out with that. Do y'all see anything going on there? Can you help me out? Nine. Maybe there's a, a dash wine, nine wine. Why? I can't, again, I can't read exactly what that says. The chat is delayed by just a little bit, but if y'all want to help me out with that, feel free to. There's an airplane way up here in the sky, but look at that draw distance or that render distance. Look how far out it goes. Wow. And we're just going to go frame by frame here. So there's going to be a lot of going back and forth. Look at this lens flare. Okay, wow. So this is just a view from the bottom. We've got people on this rooftop bar area here. Uh, tons of balconies. I'm sure some of these interiors you'll be able to enter. Imagine just parachuting into somebody's condo as they're getting it on. That's crazy. I wouldn't put it past Rockstar. Um, look in here. You can see what looks to be some looks at the interior. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and go forward to the Everglades. Okay. Well, it's letting us go just a little more. Ahead. Okay, yeah. So we're going into the Everglades here. This is most likely the swampy region. It is not most likely, but it is. This is the airboat. We saw this in the 2022 GTA 6 leaks. This makes me think of Lemoyne on crack from Red Dead Redemption 2. And welcome, everybody. To this uh, here's more. Uh, views of just how detailed this game is and the theme song here is amazing I'm just gonna mute it just for my own protection. Look at what we have here. We got some flamingos We got some ducks and alligator. Look at that right there. Look at this wildlife There's so much of it and I'm not like an expert on birds. There's another alligator right here There's two of them so far uh, imagine the Easter eggs in this area of the map, y'all. Imagine how many bodies we're going to find, like, diving, diving deep down in here. Um, it looks like there's there's another alligator right here. Uh, and again, I'm not I'm not a uh, expert on birds or animals, so forgive me for getting some of these wrong or not knowing their names. But uh, it looks like there's some sort of animal back here that I can't exactly tell. Oh, Chihuahua's confirmed! Look at that! There's a Chihuahua in the game, man! Yes! Hey, yes, my first ever dog, Ricky, he lived to be 13 years old. He was a chihuahua. Check that out. But look at the details here. There was a lot going on here. So let's start from left to right. We've got some beautiful sisters over here uh, featuring modern hipster type tattoos. So like that's something that you see a lot of young girls with these days, these thigh tats. Um, we got one on the chest here. Uh, Multicolored hair. Wow, there's so much going on here. Um, wow. Wow. And I mean, and, and wow, just the variety, the detail, the attention to detail on these people here. So check this out. We got a guy spraying his girl off with some sunscreen right here in the background and look at it reflect off of her skin. That's amazing. Look at just the different, again, the detail to the skin. This lady over here is very pale. This one is tan. This guy is tan. This sister right here is is a medium brown. This sister right here is a darker brown. So there is so much complexion going on here. I know somebody's going to clip this and make me sound horrible. But I'm just talking about the, the variety of color here on, on like skin tones. Because if you think about it in GTA 5, everybody seems to be the same color. Just depending on uh, race, of course. This guy is super buff back here. That's awesome. Look at that. Looks like we've got a couple in their dog. I've got some people hanging out over here. Ice chests. This guy's taking a selfie. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, hold on. Rockstar fashion. This guy's taking a selfie of this girl bent over. He's being a creep right there. That's that's hilarious. We've got another tatted up girl right here. Um, we just see how loaded these beaches are. Looks like there's a Coast Guard right here. 
dropping a jet ski into the water. Uh, and it looks like we were, so this, we're, the, the very first opening scene of the trailer was a top down view of kind of where we're at right now. Pay attention to this helicopter in the sky right here, y'all. Welcome everybody once again. Um, look at this. This is a, uh, somebody said, stop calling them sisters, man. Yo, there's no better feeling than getting called sugar by a beautiful sister here. So check out this helicopter. This is one of those that looks like it can land in water. Here is another helicopter. There's tons of things going on in the sky. Look at that draw distance. Once again, I want to see this Chihuahua though. That's amazing. Let's see. <laughs> look at that little guy going. Let's go back one more time. Somebody said, look at the feet of people on the beach. You'll see sand marks. Let's see. Oh, wow. What a great thing to point out. Thank you for that. What's going on, Super Rebel? How you doing, brother? Long time no talk. Hope you're doing well. That is an amazing thing to point out. That attention to detail right there. Look at that. All of their footprints. That is something that is really neat. Red Dead Redemption 2 emphasized on that. And I've always said that Red Dead Redemption 2, excuse me, GTA 6 is going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 on crack. So also on the umbrellas, it looks like Soul Sisters. <laughs> Somebody told me to quit saying sisters. It's right there on the umbrella. That's what I was talking about. Um, Vice Beach. This is Vice Beach right here. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and move forward a bit. Check out that dog, though. And look at the sand on this guy's feet as he is running, as well as his girl. Check out the sand that is on all of their feet. That's very interesting. Such a great minor detail. Okay, we've got some boats here. So I wonder if this is the boat. So in GTA 5, down at the docks, one of the boats, the freight liners or the cargo ships, is the same one from GTA 4. I'm drawing a blank right now on the name of it. The... Um, Goodness, I can't think. It's the one Nico came to Liberty City on, and it is docked in Los Santos. It would be great to see another Easter egg in Vice City having it return. But we've got speed boats here. It looks like we got some boat races. Check out this boat. I don't know if we've ever seen one like this in GTA 5. Look at that. I'm not familiar with, with my boats, but that's my boat. That's Forrest Gump reference right there. But, uh, but check that out. Looks more like a speed boat there. Um, the water looks amazing. Again, I cannot wait to dive deep into the waters of GTA 6 and see what Easter eggs lie underneath the surface. The platypus! Yes, y'all are right. The platypus. It would be amazing if we saw a return of the platypus. So let's move forward just a bit here. See, it, there's a plane in every single shot, but check out the sky, how it goes from cloudy to this side to just vibrant blue over here. Uh, hopefully we don't get another boring dock mission like that one in GTA 5. That was just so boring. But uh, sometimes Rockstar likes to repeat missions. But check out just that that attention to detail as far as the water goes. Um, can't tell what it says on the side of this boat here. Let's see if we can go back one more frame. Clarion. It looks like it says C-L-A-R-I-O-N. Clarion. So pretty interesting there. Excuse me. Uh, tons of neat colors, though. I love the liveries on the boat here. I want to go back one more frame. Let's see if we can get a close-up of what these guys look like here. Look at them. They looks like they're, like, soaking wet, which is pretty cool as well. Looks like a middle-aged guy here. You can tell by his just receding hairline. Oh, hold on. What's this sign say? Kelly County, Vice City International Airport. The downtown is this way. So there is an amazing group of guys on the GTA forums who have been putting together amazing... I just saw something. But amazing... Um, piecing together maps for each GTA based on the trailer for years. They did it with GTA 5 with complete accuracy. Same for Red Dead Redemption 2. So I can't wait to see what they do in GTA 6. But y'all check this out. So we've got Kelly County. The Vice City International Airport is this way. Stockton Stockyard downtown is going to be over here, but check out this building here y'all who's going to fly a plane through the hole in this building if I recall this building's in the original Vice City as well um, Looks like maybe this is some sort of nightclub right here. If not a nightclub, maybe a stadium of sorts It looks like it's too big to be a nightclub But look at that it's multi-leveled. It's off the side of a highway in an overpass but look at those lights. So maybe it's a Vice City Mamba Stadium. Maybe we're finally going to get real sports teams here. Again, thank y'all all for joining me for this. I haven't been taking too much of a look at the um, 
at the chat over here as we're focused on the trailer. But thank y'all all for joining us in such a historical moment. But again, I'm ready to fly a plane through there. There's going to be some amazing stunts going through there. Somebody did point out, check out how the hair is swaying in the wind. What a great detail. As well as check out right here. She is being recorded by somebody sticking out the window racing supercars. We've got some trash on the side of the highway here. But look at that. Let's go ahead and let this play and then kind of we'll go back on it. There are dash lights. Check out that LED attention to detail right there on the dash as well. A lot of modern cars, especially on the luxurious end, do have those features. So that's pretty neat. We're going to go back one more frame. Let this play all the way through. Some exhaust backfire going on there. And whoa, it's such a vibrant scene. Check out this truck as well in the foreground. It's got a lot of trash. It's got things in the back of the bed. So that's pretty cool. I want to get a close up of the license plates as well. Someone said, bro, Tracy at 56 is in here. So let's, we're going to mark that down real quick that at 56 seconds, Tracy. So I don't forget Tracy 56. Maybe she's finally got her big claim to fame, but again, check out the trash there. Let's go move forward to the next frame. We're looking for some vice city license plates. There's one that's different. There is another one. Okay, that's neat. So this is my scene right here, y'all. I've been into lowriders for many years. I've owned many lowriders. This looks like the Wynwood area of uh, of Miami, Florida. So there's an area in Miami, in Miami, Florida, known as Wynwood. And I'm gonna pull this up for y'all. Wynwood, Miami. It's an art district. I've spoke about it on the channel many times, but check out Wynwood if you're not familiar with Wynwood. It is an art district in Miami where all of the buildings are, they, they feature murals and many different kinds of artwork. Compare that to this right here, this area. It looks the same almost. So I'm guessing this is the Wynwood area. That's really awesome. It is just heavily crowded, tons of density. Looks like we've got a GTA 5 lowrider there. Amazing. And let's take a look at the vehicles that we have. This looks like a, uh, what do they call that? I think a GTA 5, like the Buccaneer. This looks like a Chrysler 300 on the side. Let's see if we can. Oh, it really was. Check that out. Look at that. Chrysler 300. Check that thing out. Yo. And one thing I noticed is the windshield stickers on the donk here in the background. This is awesome. So yeah, I would say without a doubt, this is Winwood right here such a beautiful vibrant area somebody said midnight club vibes true true that we got a chopper up in the left um, i'm excited to see the artwork here in the game so let's see what's going on we got some selfie takers here uh, we got more going on in the background here maybe guys like cleaning their rides look we got a homeless dude chilling right there pretty cool great attention to detail i love the donk she got a donk these guys are over here chilling. Oh, booty. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure. Let's see. Okay, so on this building here, it does say wood. So I'm guessing, yes, that is Wynwood. But again, who knows what it's going to be called in game. So that's really cool to see. Y'all, this is the Wynwood area confirmed. They're going to call it something like Inwood or Benwood. Something so similar, without a doubt. But the murals look so amazing. Got these homies just chilling over here. Got the guy on the bike. This guy even has his phone out. Lots of people are on their phones here. So that's really cool to see. Okay, here's a closer look at the license plate that I want to talk about. Looks like we've got a pink palm tree there. Pretty neat. And let's, we're going to segue into the next clip, I suppose. All right, so Make It Rain Mondays. Looks like that's what's going on there. Um, this scene's a bit dark, but we got, we're making it rain. Yeah, they're making it rain. Okay, making it rain at the club. Booty, y'all cover your eyes. Check out the detail here. This lady is throwing out money while she features it or has it in her hand. The money all over the floor. I would go in the club looking like my nerdy self, whitest guy in the room, and just start like taking money, man, and just dip. So they're chunking money around. I like the details like in the balloons here. It looks so realistic. So realistic. Somebody said, I'm from Miami. I realize a lot of things such as the banner on the plane from the beginning. It's a reference to a popular club called Eleven. Okay, very neat information. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate all of y'all watching. We've almost got, <laughs> somebody said, a whole lot of twerk, and we've got 10,000 of y'all in here. Thank y'all for stopping by. That's amazing. I got to take a picture of this. What a great record. 
this is amazing. Y'all are awesome. So let's continue on here to see what's going on in the club. This is neat. I'm not familiar with the club scene, but check this out. They've got bottles of champagne. They're popping off. This is a double layer, double decker club. A lot of things going on here. Why go to the club in real life when you go in GTA? Is this guy recording his girl twerking for the gram? Okay, Kodak Black. That's awesome. Check this out. Grills are confirmed, man. <laughs> awesome. I love that attention to detail once again. Look at that. Wow. I was trying to see in the background. It's pretty blurred out. Can't tell what that billboard says, but check out that attention to detail from the arm tats to the jewelry to the accessories. I love the grill. Is this the first time we've ever seen one in GTA? Maybe so. I also wonder how many returning characters we're going to get. There's going to be so many of them. Hold on. Let's go back one more frame. Just dapping them up real quick. What car is that in the background? Do y'all see that? Is that another Chrysler? It just goes so quick. Yeah, it looks to be another Chrysler, an orange Chrysler in the background. Can't really tell though, so I can't confirm that. But oh my gosh. Y'all, this looks like an actual drone footage right now. Like actual drone footage is what this looks like. We're only 30 seconds in. Lots of starting and stopping here. But wow. Again, there's a plane and a helicopter in every scene. So I guess starting from the top down, look at the background. This is the city at dusk. Holy cow. This literally looks like a real life drone shot. So starting from the background and moving forward, I'm seeing obviously the planes, look at that sky, but moving down to this area, we've got the water, we've got an island over here that's going to be neat to check out. We've got a full-blown yacht, baby. That's awesome. Boats on the right side, but on the left side, look at how dense this area is and how much it is filled with boats. I'm excited for the nightlife on water as well. That is so cool. Looks like we've got an upstairs or a, excuse me, a rooftop bar right here. We've got balconies over here and these interiors look like you can see inside of them. So while not all of them are going to be accessible, it looks like a lot of them will be. I've noticed that so far. Check out these lights here. I wonder if everyone that has lights on, you can go inside or maybe Rockstar will bring back burglary missions from San Andreas. Artists, you ask what movie do I think is the inspiration for GTA 6? The Place Beyond the Pines. Uh, that's going to play. There's probably a, a major uh, combination of movies, but that one is the inspiration for Jason and Lucia. So as we see here, the traffic looks like we've got toll booths. Uh, if I was familiar with Miami in real life, I could tell you where this area is. But what I do know is that this area I have seen in games like Driver 3, uh, which I've got right behind me. That game takes place in Miami. Uh, Vice City as well features these islands. But looks like, you know, we've got some parked cars over here, a, a guard shack of some sorts. Um, I'm trying to look here as beautiful as this scene is, it's very captivating. It kind of takes away from the minor details. This area looks like we have mansions actually check that out. It looks like a mansion back there. There's no way that I could really zoom in, but let's go ahead and move forward a bit to the next scene. The yacht is actually moving. Here is downtown ocean beach or ocean view. We see the Ocean View Motel right there, one of the most iconic scenes in Grand Theft Auto, y'all. This is awesome. Uh, going all the way back to Vice City, but also in real life, such a beautiful, vibrant area. And I went straight to the background, but there's so much going on in the foreground. This has been pointed out before, but when in Grand Theft Auto have y'all noticed that NPCs walk together in groups instead of by themselves? So we saw that just a few frames back on the beach, but check this out. We have NPCs walking together. It looks like this guy's asking for some money here, just chilling on the side. This guy, check out his phone. You can actually see what he is recording. And speaking of interiors, y'all, look at this right here. There's a TV. You can see inside this apartment building here. Wow, that is awesome. I cannot wait to go here at nighttime and check this out. Y'all, if you haven't done so yet as well, help a brother out. Drop a like on the stream. Could y'all help me out? Let's get 10 gazillion likes on the stream, and I will down this bottle of piss washer. This is actually from Rockstar Games. They didn't give it to me. I got it off of eBay, but it is from Rockstar Games. Check that out. It's beer from September 4th, 2009. They gave this out when GTA 4 came out, so pretty cool, man. Not actually going to drink that, but... Um, 
Again, look how crowded the area is. We can point out some of the vehicles. Looks like we've got a Porsche right here. We have got an 80s model. Uh, look at that. What does that say? I'm actually zooming in myself here. The state of Florida, is it going to have a name, y'all? I can barely tell. We're going to have to zoom in maybe after the stream. It, 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 I see an L and an A. I'm not going to call it Louisiana, but it says Cheetah. So this is a Cheetah car. I'm guessing. Is that right? I'm going to show my, uh, let's see, Cheetah GTA. Let's let's make sure. Um, okay, so this vehicle is actually in Grand Theft Auto 5. Is it a Cheetah Classic? This is the Cheetah Classic. Yes, this vehicle is in GTA 5. So this white vehicle right here is the Cheetah Classic. That's a returning vehicle from GTA 5. Check that out. It says it on the license plate, but in that iconic white color. Oh, that's awesome. We've got a Dodge Challenger over here on the side. I wonder if we're going to get some Hellcats in the game. That would be pretty cool to see. Uh, we've got a Mercedes in the background here. Whoa! Okay, y'all, hold on. Check this out, boys and girls. Look at this car. This is from the original Vice City right here. It's that I'm not I'm not familiar and too good with the vehicle names, but it's the iconic car that's outside of Tommy Versetti's apartment, Vice City yellow car. We're going to pull this up. Okay, so this car is actually in real life. In real life it appears. So, check this out. In Vice City, this car is outside of Tommy's apartment. In real life, this car appeared here much like in GTA 5. Um, GTA 5, Veyron, IRL. There's a car in GTA 5 that appears in Los Santos. There's a Bugatti Veyron. It appears in-game in downtown Los Santos. And it also appears in real life. So that's in GTA 5. And in GTA Vice City, this car right here, or excuse me, GTA 6, this car is returning from Vice City. So check that out. That's one of our first secrets and Easter eggs that we see. That is really cool. So Vice City, it appears. It appears in real life. And look at this. It appears in the game as well, y'all. Drop a like for that. That is really cool. Awesome. The Oceanic car. Super cool there. Our first ever GTA 6 Easter egg. Super, super cool. We've got the Hotel Dixon in the background, and we've got flags and more rooftop bars. Awesome. That is cool, that Oceanic. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that one more time. Y'all know I love Easter eggs and secrets so much. Um, I want to just get one more close-up of that. It's going to be awesome to do a GTA Vice City versus GTA 6 video with the downtown area. That is so cool to see. So let's go ahead and move forward a bit here. Looks like we got another club uh, scene of the club going on. Looks like a different club. This looks like, is this like an Oriental style club? Check out that look. Okay. I got to slow down, y'all. It's like ADHD. I feel like I'm on crack, but really I'm just high on GTA right now. My goodness. So I don't see anything going on here. It's a bit dark, but we got a DJ. Look for any returning characters, y'all. Sorry, just taking a look at the, the chat. Yep. Show more Easter eggs. We're looking for him. All right. So let's go to the next scene here. Check this out, y'all. I've been waiting for this. Highway to the Florida Keys. I forget the name of this highway. Um, the Overseas Highway. It looks like that's what this is. Was it Highway 113? No, nope, it just, let's see, the Overseas Highway. So I'm going to show y'all a clip here. It looks like this might be the the road that takes us to the Florida Keys. So check this out. I've always wondered what this would look like in GTA 6 since Rockstar dropped Cayo Perico. This takes you from South Florida to the Florida Keys or the Gator Keys. Maybe they'll be calling it in the game, but this is what this area looks like it is based on. So that is super duper cool right there. Y'all, if you are new to the channel, y'all drop a like, help a brother out, spread some cheese on a broke cracker, subscribe. Y'all, we got to hit a million subs. We're going to get a gold play button with GTA 6. It's happening. I've been on YouTube 12 years now, and I couldn't have done this without any of y'all. So it looks like this area, we've got the seaplane. Um, we're going to just take a look here because look how far out. Look how small those vehicles are. This is zoomed out big time. 
there's going to be tons of like treasure on these islands buried and things like that. That's going to be really cool to check out. All of these islands are going to have so much hidden on them. What is this? Y'all see that? We'll take a look at that in just a moment. But look, we've got yachts in the background. I mean, look how the, the variation and colors of the water as well. So true to real life. Look at that traffic. Awesome. I'm excited to see what's hidden on these islands. There's going to be so many like skeletons and, and like drug runners from the 80s. So many like cool things to be found. But what is that in the background? Is it going to give us a closer look? Is that like a, is that a blimp or a hot air balloon? It's got a wing on the back. It looks like it's a hot air balloon. That would be really neat. Super neat, y'all. You see anything sunken in the waters? Any boats down there? I'm not seeing anything just yet. But the darker parts are the deeper parts. Somebody said the bridge is broken. Oh, yeah, true. Hey, good, good eye. Who said that? Fabio, appreciate that, brother. Good eye. Good eye, Mike. Thank y'all for helping me out. Look at that. There's some insane stunt jumps there, y'all. So there's a stunt jump confirmed. As we know, those are classic in GTA. So you're going to be able to stunt jump onto the bridge. Boom, boom, boom. From each side. That is really cool. Um, but yeah, it looks to be a hot air balloon of sorts. Somebody said the Goodyear blimp. Yes, sir. Awesome. I'm not seeing anything else on this scene other than beauty. Just lots of foliage down here. Looks like we got a building to the side. Um, very neat bridge. Whoop, booty. And then look, it goes even further out here in the background. So that's going to take us uh, way out into the islands. Is this a ship or is this just like, is this a sunken ship? I don't think so. It could just be trees. Maybe like a sandbar because look, we've got one here and some areas here. Yeah, those are just trees. I thought maybe that's like the bow of a ship that's like halfway submerged. Not seeing anything hidden under the waters just yet. So let's go ahead and move forward. This is a really cool scene here. We've got this lady just chilling in the water, sipping a margarita right there. Take a look in the background first. I know y'all are probably looking at booty. Well, first off, she's wearing the in-game variant of, of Gucci. She's wearing that kind of bikini. We can see the logos and insignias there with the brass knuckles and the diamonds. That's actually in Grand Theft Auto V those styles, but uh, we've got another rooftop. There's so many rooftop bars and exteriors to take a look at. We've got downtown Vice City in the background there. Check out just how detailed this area is. It's kind of blurred, you can't see, but these guys and gals are just chilling here. Whoa, what's up, baby? I wonder if this is gonna be a GTA 6 cover girl. GTA 6 cover girl right there, check that out. Dang, I'm not one to like pay attention to female, um, Models in game, but Rockstar did a great job with this. Check out the braids on her hair. And is this a scar or a birthmark? No, that was just some hair, I think. Yeah, that was just hair. That was just the way we stopped it. That just looks like a classic GTA cover girl. Wow. Oh, and check out this girl looking at the camera. Look at that. Look, let's see this. She's like, yo, what's up? She's checking her out as she moves. What a great detail. And once again, there's another helicopter in the background. This guy's holding his phone. Hold the phone like Kid Cudi. Amazing. Got the cheetah print bikini top on. Okay. Very nice. Vice. That's awesome. Wow. If anybody watching lives in Miami, where is this from? And you're right. Maybe the GTA 5 map. Somebody said Lucia. That's not Lucia, I don't think. Is it? Nah, that ain't Lucia. Lucia has a mole like right here on her face. We'll see Lucia in a minute. She's in prison. We saw her at the beginning. So Vice, is this like outside of the airport possibly? I don't know, but it captures the atmosphere of Vice City at dusk. Just that orangish, foggy scenery. That is beautiful, beautiful Vice City wood. Yeah, at first I thought vine wood, right? They just changed the N to a C. But look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. Somebody, y'all point that out. Makes me think of... Okay, so it, it might be. Maybe it is. Um, maybe it is. As I take a look at the chat here. 
Somebody said, oh, frame by frame, comma, or period? Oh, bro, y'all are awesome. Okay, frame by frame here. Look at that. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, so take a look at the sky. It's almost like a time lapse going on there. Wow. I don't know if there's too much here. But I was wondering, somebody said that's not a real sign. It's going to be somewhere. Somebody said the Port of Miami sign. Let's check this out. Port of Miami sign. Nah, doesn't look like it's that. But I don't doubt y'all's claims. Just take a look in the background, though, one more time. What do we see? This area. Maybe that's the airport. I'm thinking, like, airport. Check that out. That kind of looks like the uh, little red spinny thing. Uh, I think the radar that appears at, at airports. It's not spinning, though. Okay, so check this out. Dad Mod Squad. Hey, Poppy, save some sugar, baby, for the rest of us. So um, we see an airplane in the background, but this is in-game phone footage. So we know that social media websites are going to appear in the game. <laughs> That's really cool. That's going to be a first in GTA that they are active. So we know that, like, Life Invader is a parody of Facebook. Bleeder is Twitter, I believe. But they are going to be appearing in the game. Y'all, real quick, for everybody watching, if you haven't dropped a like yet, let's do what's called a like spike, yo. So right now, just for GTA 6, let's see if we can get 6,000 likes right now in, like, one minute. So I'm going to say like spike, and y'all just hammer that like button if you haven't yet to show me how excited you are for GTA 6. If so, I will give away this copy of GTA 5 on the PS2. If you think I'm lying, that's that's GTA 5. Where is it at? Get her up there on the PS2, y'all. Drop a like right now and let's keep on going. So we've got a boat party, but this is like Instagram live right here. You can follow pages, it looks like. this. Is, we got a live stream going on of a, just check out this sugar daddy with all his sugar babies on the boat here. Honestly, you know who that looks like? That looks like, and I'm drawing a blank right now because these names don't matter to me, but um, Jeff Bezos, look at this. Why does that look like Jeff Bezos right there? This is older ripped guy. Let's go back one more time here. Look at that. Look like Jeff Bezos getting it on on the boat. Isn't that hilarious? Okay, next scene. This guy is pulling a gator out of the water. Hold on. Oh, that girl's twerking. Looks like we got an Ice Spice music video. Look at this guy. Look at that backyard. This is somebody's backyard. Looks like, okay, starting with the interior, it looks like you can see inside. But this is a backyard. Look how detailed that is. And look at this pool right here. This guy, Wildlife Control, is whipping a gator out of the pool. One thing I do know about Florida, because I have been, is that um, <laughs> gators and swimming pools go hand in hand. So that is really cool right there. Stay alert, VC. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. That is the official poach. That is, that's hilarious. So you can pull that guy out. We've got some twerking on the roof for a music video. Okay, okay. Anything going on there that we didn't see? Let's take a look at the driver. Okay, so check out this. As I go frame by frame, y'all scan in on this rear view mirror right here. I know they already work, I believe, in GTA 5. Let me move my mouse. But look at that, back and forth. So that's like in real time changing. That is really cool as this dude is driving. Um, look at those twerking physics. Wow, so amazing. So let's go ahead. I think it's neat though how this lady has her head out the window. That is also something cool. Okay, we've got some street racers. This is super common. Guys doing burnouts and shutting down intersections. Super cool right there. Um, this interior, though, does not look like it's open. It looks like it's a Spanish bodega, just a corner store right there. Um, but check out all of these guys and gals dancing on the roof here. Um, is this... This is like a Spanish district, baby. Is there a Jamaican district? I'm just judging by the colors. Uh, again, being not too familiar with the area of Miami, but this interior does not look accessible, but the intersection is shut down. Looks like we got a Dodge Charger right there, a couple Chargers, got a couple Classics. Other rides that we see, there's another Chrysler 300 right there. Uh, super cool to take a look at. Y'all, we got 30,000. Holy cow, that's awesome. Super cool right now. Man, thank y'all for all taking time out of your day to stop by and take a look. Somebody said kids are at 55 seconds as well. We're almost there. Let's let's I'm gonna add that to my list of things to check out. We got kids going on. 
So let's go ahead and move forward. Got some street racing, shutting down intersections. We got more live streams going on here. Check that out. This is definitely a parody of Instagram. Zaza Nugget, Shanice, your girl 99. Let's see if we see any familiar characters going on there, but we don't. But check out those colors. That's super duper cool right there. Awesome. I love those colors. Oh, and the gator in the store. Okay, check this out. This is cool. Super cool. As we know, there's going to be, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 had a couple hundred random events. Well, I know that GTA 6, according to the 2022 leaks, is going to have like 1,800 random events. And imagine one of those being an alligator in a convenience store. But check out how detailed this is compared to GTA 5. We've got an eating area. We've got the register, which we know you're going to be able to rob. I got the clerk. We got a guy back here like, whoa. And this guy's like, hey, get me out of here. So super neat. I wonder if the lottery system is going to be something that works in GTA 6. So check that out right there. Super neat. Uh, Go Postal familiar. Um, familiar companies and logos are returning. Somebody said an average day in Florida. That's awesome. So we got some people in the background here. This guy's just getting gas and chilling. So that is super cool to see. I wonder if you think about it, NPCs do not get gas in GTA 5 or any prior GTA. So that's a cool detail. This guy just chilling on the truck. We've got a body cam footage. August 4th, it looks like, at 11.58. Let's see. So beware of the dog. Is that Chop? Look at that. I wonder if they use Chop's face. And this is police, of course. Looks like they're doing a house raid. Check that out. That's really cool. Okay, we're going to let this whole scene play through before going back. Kick in the door. Go through. Whoa, big lady. Fun crack. As we know, Florida is notorious for bath salts and zombies and all that good stuff. So let's take a look here at the police and what's going on. So there is a police raid. Check out that detail. Check out that detail. So this guy kicks open the door, kicks it open. Look at look at even the, the minor detail of the wood from the door frame shattering. This guy's going to come in. Look, he puts his hand out first to swing that door open. And look at that. Look at that detail right there. Just the way he's wielding his pistol, the handcuffs. Super awesome. Super neat. We're just going frame by frame here to see what's happening. Planet Leonida, man. Okay, so a few moments ago on the Ocean View, we saw a Leonida County. So we saw a license plate for Leonida. Planet Leonida, Leonida, and look on the police car here. Leonida County. So that seems to be a district in GTA 6. That is super cool. Not sure exactly what part of the state that is from, but Leonida County is another new area that we've just discovered in GTA 6. So this guy is just almost stripped down to nothing, running from the cops. Check this out. Looks like this cop is wearing a glove. That's another neat detail. Um, and just like all the classic GTA mods, check out the reflection of the water. All like the super HD GTA 6 mods for GTA 5 um, are... Always wet. My throat is burning from talking so much. So let's just let this play through. Super cool. What a great transition, too. We'll go back just a couple more frames. They kick this in. Okay, so it looks like we've got also vehicle-wise a Dodge Dually. That's a Dodge truck, judging by the front end. And the fender flares, that's a Dually. We've got people getting gas back there. Um, and Leonida County, once again, that's super interesting. Is That big old dude is just... That's hilarious. So I'm guessing maybe this is like Port Gelhorn, that area, but we can see some skyscrapers in the background as well. This area doesn't look to be Vice City. It looks to be on the other side of the state, as well as an aero gas station. So super cool. And look at this guy. Only in Leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving. So I wonder if Leonida, maybe that's the state of Florida. That's what they're calling it. That would be neat. Let me look up... Let's look up the definition of Leo Leonida. That might tell us something. Leonida. Leonidas. That's a Greek. That's a Greek guy. 
So I'm not seeing anything for Leonida just means lion. Okay. So just wanted to check there. Check out the detail to interior on this car. It looks like we got some stuff duct taped there. Oh, oh, wow. The door handle, the pull handle is duct taped. Check out that guy's tattoo. You already know he screams America, baby. Super cool. Vice City Beaches, Port Vice City, and the Keys. Okay, so obviously the Keys are confirmed. Another location is confirmed, and that is the Vice City Keys, the Port of Vice City as well, which was we all mentioned a few moments ago. Um, Kelly County. So we've got Kelly County. We have Leonida County. Uh, we've got just Dog the Bounty Hunter here. What's his shirt say? It's just another Leonida County. So that's awesome. His phone is clipped. That is super cool. Y'all bear with me two seconds. I'm going to get a water. Got to get a water real quick. All right, we're back. Had to quench my thirst, y'all. Had to give me a sprunk, baby. Okay, so... Yep, we've got many locations confirmed so far. That's awesome. Again, check out the detail with that duct tape. Looks like he might have some brochures down here in this door pocket, so that's cool. I want to see if we can see what this sign says in the top left. Wanted for panty sniffing. Look at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> that billboard is classic Rockstar Games right there. Somebody said, is this all in-game footage? Yes, so right now... Uh, this is in-game footage, but this specific part that we're seeing here is live streamed in the game. So like on the in-game version of Instagram. So it looks like this is kind of like early morning or just after a rainfall. So I love the detail with the overpasses here. There is a bus and look at the levels to it. We've never seen that in GTA, but this sign is bad guys wanted for panty sniffing. That's hilarious. There's a tow truck right here. Super cool. Um, let's go frame by frame if we can see any more. Have you seen bad guys wanted for panty sniffing? All right. Oh, wow. And check out the reflection of that in the water. Look at that detail, y'all. Is that amazing? And yes, if you're just, just now joining, the game is coming out in 2025. So let's go back. Look at that paint job. Check this out too. Look at that detail. So first off, We've got this guy here, super neat, got his pants down low, sagging, chilling. That would suck to fall out right there, but look at that. It's a pearlescent paint job. Look at it reflecting in the light. Crosstown, does that say ridiculous? <laughs> yeah, ridiculous customs. Okay, so check this out. As we know, this is on the end game. RIP Rudy, see you in heaven, cuz. Yo mama's jammer, but check this out. That looks like an Instagram logo. And as we know, this looks like it's being live streamed on the end game version of Instagram. So that is super cool. And what's that say? Vice vinyl. So it looks like this guy might work on custom rides. That's super cool. Right there. Let's let this play through before going back. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. That looks like Mr. Crocker. Okay, so take a look at him from the front. Look at the detail to his hair in slow motion. That is an amazing detail. And again, look at this custom ride. Let's look at the taillights. Does it show the taillights? Can we go back? I'm trying to see what kind of truck this is. It looks like a 90s truck of some sort or early 2000s. Can't really tell. But look at that detail. Super cool right there. Doing it for his cuz. All right. Wow. Just cruising through the neighborhood. Next scene, look at this. Look at this guy. And this is recorded from just inside a vehicle. So it looks like this isn't live streamed on the end game Instagram, but this guy's just chilling, minding his own business. Can you knock him? I mean, that is true freedom and happiness right there. But check out this detail. Look at that. He's sunburnt. That is really cool detail. The yard is flooded. There's a pool in the background. Looks like you can see inside of his house. I'm trying to see. I think that's about it for this scene. That's just kind of a hilarious scene. Just these random GTA NPCs. Uh, and then we got a mud bath going on here. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back real quick. Somebody said Tracy at 56. Okay, so I got... 
wait, is that Tracy? Somebody said that's Tracy. Could that be Tracy DeSanta right there? I thought maybe I was being trolled. As I go back to this next scene, the other guy, I thought they might have been talking about him. Um, you could see a Logo Hill Thrill Billy Mud Club, but I thought maybe somebody was talking. To, and somebody said kids at 55. Y'all were trolling me. That's what y'all were doing. Okay, I see what y'all were doing. <sighs> Crazy people. I love y'all to death, man. Okay, so could that be Tracy? I doubt it, but it looks like we've got the Thrill Billy Mud Club. That is something new, but that is really cool. Looks like a Silverado in the background right there. Um, do we have any piss wasser? I should join the mud club. Look at that. Again, I'm just going to keep showing this, excuse me, off because it's really cool. I like this guy right here. I live in Southwest America, Southwest, U Southwest USA. I know guys, I could walk out less than a mile and find 30 guys who look like this right now. He got the beard, the beer, no shirt on and big old belly. So in the background, we see this guy chilling on top of the truck. This guy's just sitting down here taking a video. Super neat stuff. Got guys on four wheelers in the background. So that's going to be an awesome area. Wait, are, are those people wrestling or could those be children? It, they look small. I doubt it's children. Well, actually, hold on, y'all. Take a look. Take a look. That guy looks kind of short and it could just be the distance. Yeah, I, I don't know if they'd have kids out here at a place like this. Most likely not. But again, check out these guys in the water just mud wrestling, having a mud bath. Super cool. An American flag livery right there. Boom, and look at that guy. Okay, now who's this? Somebody's grandma. She what does she say? She says something too. <laughs> My headphones shut off. Hold on. Lucha Libre fan. Neighborhood watch. Don't play around in Hamlet. So that's another area most likely. Well, look who's back. Look who's back. So that's a really cool, just subtle hello from Rockstar Games with look who's back. This crazy lady right here. Somebody's probably been messing with her or she's been smoking the sweet stuff or snorting that, that white goose, that booger sugar. So that's cool. looks like, oh, wow. Okay, so check this out. Looks like the windshield is shattered. So maybe she went crazy. Look who's back. Maybe she's actually not crazy, but regardless... Um, that is super cool. And that is once again streamed on like the in game Instagram. So that is cool to see that that is in the game. This guy's partying hard. Some of these clips are very short, like one second. So this guy is partying hard. We all know a guy. Heck, you might be this guy right here. There's one in every crowd as he jumps off. Into the table. Look at that. And look at how the table folds. Such a great attention to detail right there. As everything splatters and shatters. And I mean, look at that. Even just seeing how, how all of this water. There's a big old butt right there. But all of this is just splattering everywhere. Super cool. We'll let this play through. Is that? Oh, there's our first look at Jason and Lucia. So before we get to them... Well, actually, let's let this play before going back. Okay. First look at Jason and Lucia. There's a lot going on in this short clip here. What is on that police car? First off, Angstapan, America's favorite disassociative. This is a in-game parody of depression medication. That is hilarious. It cures emotions. I love that. And it looks like there is an in-game parody of Pfizer. But what does it say? I can't tell exactly what the name of it is, but there's an in-game parody of Pfizer for patients 18 to 65 should use with caution. Call your doctor if you're... <laughs> okay, so it says call your doctor if your erection lasts more than four hours. Results may vary. That's just hilarious rock star again. That is hilarious. Okay, it looks like we also have a uh, outlet mall of some sort right here. An advertisement for that. That is super cool to see. And check out right there, y'all. Someone said realistic Crown Vic and Explorer. I agree. I agree. What does it say, though? Is it... Is it... Again, the... 
Yep, looks like Lam Lambodia County. I can't remember the name of that because it's so new yet. We'll have to just take a look back. But that's the same county police cars that we saw a few moments ago at the gas station. Is it PWIZ? I can't tell what the what the parody of Pfizer is. But yeah, looks like a super realistic version of a Explorer and a Crown Vic, America's favorite disassociative. You can see Jason's veins right here. This is our first look at Jason, but the details to his, like the veins on his hand. Here is Jason and there is Lucia. Check him out, y'all. Can we see anything on the money? That's a $20 bill right there. I wonder if you can see. Look at the detail to the money. That is super cool. The money is like really old and wrinkled up. Super cool right there to see. There's Lucia's detailed face for the first time. Weasel news. No overturning zone. Cops arrest a man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's dine and dash. So it looks like he dine and dash, went on a high speed chase. Oh, and the guy was getting out of the car. Hold on, that guy's cool. Impotent. Look at that. And his face tat. But okay, let's see what we got going on here. What kind of vehicles do y'all see? Um, looks like. These are undercovers, possibly. There's two of them right here. There's another police car right here. There's a van. And I can't tell exactly what kind of car that is right there. And we got a bus in the background, dump trucks. But this guy has made a mess. And look at that detail, though. Look at that detail. It looks like glass shattered, water spilt, trash. That is just super cool. All the minor things. Somebody said fizz. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense right there. So I can't speak Spanish, but this is... Oh, wow. Okay, so check this out, y'all. Check this out. Here is the in-game logo for Instagram that we've seen all these live streams on right there. I told y'all a moment ago it looked like on that green truck on the window sticker the instagram logo look at that mega mundo news that is the logo for instagram in game it looks very similar the square and then it's got a heart in the middle super cool to see there mega no notifications uh noticias uh confession escrita i'm just gonna translate that y'all translate confession confession Escrita in Tinta para Tata Awa. Confession written in tattoo ink. So that's what that says right there. Corrections, Sheriff's Office, Deputy, Sheriff. Check out this logo here. That is super interesting. The seal of Vice City, it looks like, because we can see Vice City right here on this badge. Super cool, colorful, vibrant seal. I love that. So it looks like. Confession, this translated, if I can make this smaller, is confession written in tattoo ink. Super neat, super neat stuff right there. And M. Tenet. Does it say? It's supposed to say maybe impertinent. I M P E N T I N E N T. Interesting, but that's a scary guy. I mean, that's like one of the scariest GTA characters I've ever seen right there, y'all. Um, oh, also, there's more to translate. I kind of skipped over that. So, confession written in tattoo ink. I'm going to pull this up. Well, I'll pull it up as I get it going. Um, tattoo in cell... Uh, si mismo clave en la condena de un hombre de Leo, Leonida. So it says, confession written in tattoo ink, a tattoo on the neck that gave away himself, key to the conviction of a man from Leonida. So if you don't read Spanish or speak Spanish, that's what that says right there. The confession written in tattoo ink. A tattoo on his neck gave himself away the key to the conviction of a man from Leonida. That is hilarious right there. Super cool to see. So let's go ahead and move forward just a bit. Again, there's Instagram. This one actually has a lot going on. So Florida is Leonida, the state of Florida. 
Oh, check this out. I love these guys right here. Super cool. I forget what they call this. What do you call this, y'all, where you ride ATVs and dirt bikes down like city streets? This looks to be like maybe the little Haiti. Earlier, I was talking about Jamaica at the street intersection race, but uh, little Haiti is most likely what I was thinking of there. So super cool. Everybody just cruising through the hood right there. Is that a trailer house? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's just go back one more time, make sure we didn't miss anything. Check out the liveries on the bikes. Super cool liveries on the bikes and on the ATVs. There's a big old eyeball right there. Oh, check out this guy. I just love the different sizes and shapes of everybody. Super cool stuff. Dirt bike, dirt bags. Here they go again. Cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing the city. Uh, Vice City Marathon. Florida man sucked up in water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. Uh, we've got a Porsche right here. We've got a police officer right here. Everything is super interactive. We've got more trash in the back of the truck. And check this out. Wow, here's another Easter egg. I guess we consider this an Easter egg. This is the classic Banshee. Oh, my camera's in the way. Let me move, Let me move it out the way for y'all. Check this out right here. The classic Banshee from GTA 3. Rockstar actually made one of these in real life. Another returning... Easter egg or another Easter egg in the form of a vehicle. That is super cool. The Banshee from GTA three. Super neat to see right there. Um, let's see what else that we got going on. These are different style police cars as well. So that's cool to see. What's going on here? Leonida. We see a Florida license plate. This truck is filled with things in the back. Sound for sound. Is that a business? That's in GTA already. Sound for sound. GTA. Nope. Doesn't exist. So that's super cool. Warning. Waning sands. So that's another area that's listed there. It looks like we see a, another Chrysler. What's that say? Rated by something something customs. We see another Instagram logo. So that's something really cool to see. Another Instagram logo. Somebody said that's Big Smoke Sun. <laughs> yeah, Rod Wave. Mated by, rated by, raised by, okay, something out customs. Super neat. Looks like we got a robbery going on here, but before we get that, hey, Piss Wasser, there it is, y'all. I knew we would see one in the trailer. Piss Wasser, boy. I was there with them. I robbed the store. So this is an alcohol or a liquor store, excuse me. We're going to let this play through real quick, see what's going on before we go back. Okay, it took us back about five seconds. So we're just in another store here. We've got a monitor. we got a camera. We've got liquor on the side. I'm not seeing anything else too new, but the details here, all the different kinds, that's really cool to see. Um, looks like we got stuff on the shelves. Can't really tell what that is. E-Cola. Piss water. Lager beer. These just shirts on the wall. That's not shirts. I don't know what that is exactly. Pawn and gun. So we got a pawn shop here. This is like a rundown looking area of the city. Let's see what's happening. Hey, there's Jason and Lucia in a really old ride. Super cool. We're going to go back a couple frames here. And it looks like we are almost at the ending of the, of the trailer. But we got a little bit to go. Do we get a close up of this license plate? Oh. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's see here. It's just very blurry, but tons of bumper stickers. Trying to see what those said. So this is Port Gelhorn. So this rundown area is Port Gelhorn, as y'all could see right here on the side of this billboard, Port Gelhorn Pawn Shops. Um, Leonida license plate, super cool there. Bumper stickers are hard to make out, can't really tell. We got another billboard for a uh, uh, business over here. Hard to see. Speed limit 55. And now we have Jason and Lucia here. So y'all were saying some of y'all that they're brother and sister. And uh, this game takes place in Leonida or Florida, not Alabama. So let's go to this scene here. This looks like a GTA 5 hotel. Could be a reused texture, but I know a lot of these old hotels, they all look the same. Especially like the really old rundown, cheap by the hour hotels. Not even by the day, but by the hour. 
so that's hilarious welcome everybody again if you haven't dropped a like yet oh hey you know what good idea Ruben he said playing it at two times the speed helps out a bit good idea but yeah if y'all are just now dropping by hey help a brother out drop a like on the stream y'all so we're just gonna play it in slow mo to see what's going on chest hair confirmed now, I'm excited to see dynamic beards uh, and hair much like in Red Dead Redemption 2 that grows just as you progress through the story but look at the detail Jason looks a bit older here or maybe it's just from living a life on the run but it's looking like I mean he's got crow's feet he's got forehead wrinkles a scar right here on the chin Lucia is most likely maybe in her late 20s early 30s Jason could be late 30s early 40s Another convenience store robbery, Uncle Jack's, the sign there. Okay, so this is Uncle Jack's liquor, Uncle Jack's loyalty. So this store is called Uncle Jack's. There's more piss water right there. Super cool. Oh, wow. Hey, okay, y'all. So there's a parody of White Claws in the game. It says Thaw, and that is looking like a White Claw right there. That's hilarious. Uh, we've got an Illuminati sticker. Look at that right there. Or uh, like a Merryweather. Is that Merryweather? But yeah, that's a White Claw parody. That is hilarious to see. Petty Forever. And that could be a reference to the theme song that plays in the background of this by Tom Petty, Love is a Long Road. What a great look at Jason and Lucia there. She is thick in the hips and baby, I love me some brown girls. My girlfriend is Mexican and uh, yeah, I like I like some brown girls, man. So uh, this looks like an old Dodge truck right here, possibly a Chevy, just an old step side. Uh, again, Petty Forever, probably a reference to Tom Petty because the theme song was made by him. For safety, please don't drink in the store. Uh, but just a great look at Jason and Lucia. He's got those SpongeBob socks on right there. That's super cool to see. Somebody said the blue truck on the right at the end here when they barge in is a, yep, that's a step side Chevy. You're right. Correct. Looks like we got a Glock. Got a Glock in my Rari. Great shot of Jason and Lucia right there. Check that out. I actually have a black and a red bandana just like that too. They're pretty common, but that's it. Wow, that was it. Okay, before we show the logo, real quick. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. And, and Lucia does not have armpit hair. Here is the official GTA 6 logo, y'all. It is officially here. As we roll this out in slow motion, the moment we've all been waiting for. I always wondered what it would look like. It is beautiful and it is simple. Look at this. That is the official GTA 6 logo, guys and gals. Isn't that amazing? That is awesome, y'all. Yeah, no no, no hints to Disney World yet. But look at that logo. Hey, it looks like my logo, man. I mean, that is just super awesome. Let me plug in. Let me just plug something in. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all this. I'm going to pull up my logo and I'm going to compare it to, let's see here, video branding, Zach Cox. I made this in 2015 right here. This is from 2015. The airplane that we saw in every scene, the palm trees, the Vice City aesthetic, and the boat. And look at the GTA 6 logo. Y'all, I've worked for Rockstar Games all along. That's why I had to disappear for almost two years. I had to work on GTA 6. But look at those palm trees. Look at those beautiful colors. Amazing, amazing stuff. And here is the official Grand Theft Auto 6 logo. One thing that's really neat to note is that Rockstar went back to the classic GTA style logo. Let me pull this up here and see GTA 5 logo. If we compare the two, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I feel like Rockstar changed it up for GTA 5. Like it had this indention in it right here, like the letters. 
inside the white, just a small indention. They changed that up, and it looks like they went back to the more classic style. That looks awesome. So vibrant and beautiful. Look at those purples, orange, and reds. I love that. I love that. And, like, the most disappointing part, though, is coming in 2025. Well, that means that we're almost a year away till 2025, but it could come in spring 25, and then Rockstar likes to delay their games to, so like, fall 25. So, uh, generally, in true Rockstar fashion, when they do release something... I was thinking, I was, like, hoping it was... I was going to look at the phone. It was going to be 2024 already. Um, but... Rockstar, every time they release a game, it's like one year and 10 months from the trailer. So we could see it in like fall of 25, but best case uh, in like early 25. So uh, only time will tell. But that's GTA 6, y'all. It is here. We have took a look and broke down the trailer, found some really cool Easter eggs. I want to end it on this Easter egg once again here from Vice City. Something super cool to take a look at is as we go back a frame here our first ever gta 6 easter egg is the oceanic car from gta vice city that also appears in real life this yellow car right here that is in vice city look at it right there there it is baby such a cool easter egg to see from the trailer does that guy have an iguana on his shoulder? I just noticed something new. I'm going to see something new every time we look back at this. He's got something on his shoulder. Looked like a lizard or something, but I doubt it. But anyways, y'all, that is GTA 6, man. It's here. And real quick, let's take a look at the official GTA 6 artwork. Uh, this was the thumbnail for Rockstar Games. Here it is. They took the concept art that they showed us, morphed it into this. There's Jason and Lucia, GTA 6, coming 20 25 y'all it is officially here the gta 6 trailer most likely in the next coming months rockstar will release another trailer probably in six to seven months but in the meantime we might get some screenshots to hold us over but we got it a day early because it leaked so thank every single one of you for stopping by checking out the stream we're gonna do more videos breaking all this down but drop a like subscribe y'all i love you all I'm going to get drunk on this piss water here, watch this trailer a million times, and lay in my bodily fluids, and let's get a million subscribers. Thank you all for tuning in. I love you all. Couldn't have done this without you. I made my first GTA video in March of 2018, and now this is the first real official GTA 6 video.